Uh, first impressions of the Model 3's Autopilot or Autopilot 2.0 is much more refined than Open Pilot on my Volt. I've noticed, uh, first of all, the uh, severity of turns that Autopilot can cope with is greater than what Open Pilot can on my car, and that's probably due to the fact that Chevrolet limits the amount of torque that can be applied when in the lane keep assist mode. Uh, we have uh, open sorry, autopilot enabled with navigate on autopilot. So if you see here in two miles, we have a turn coming up on exit 2A. So we've already had a couple prompts further up the highway to get us over into this lane. And to acknowledge that, I simply push down on the autopilot or shifter stock here to, to tell autopilot, go ahead and take the turn. So we should see here shortly if that actually works. Um, something else I've noticed here is that the, the nagging of autopilot is much more frequent compared to what it is on open pilot. And open pilot uses a front facing camera on the uh, window mounted um, camera or the window mounted phone to look back at the driver for you know proper confirmation that the driver is engaged with the road. There's a camera up here uh, but I don't think it's being used, or if it is, I don't think it's being used by Open Pilot because I'm constantly, every minute or so, being prompted to put some torque onto the wheel, seemingly to acknowledge that I am aware of what's going on in front. So that's a bit different compared to Open Pilot. Uh, but other than that, um, every aspect of, of Autopilot, Tesla's Autopilot, has been better in some degree than Open Pilot. Having said that, what Open Pilot is, an open sourced uh, autonomous driving solution for a thousand dollars pretty dang good um, so, here, so here we come up with the turn here let's see what happens we got half a mile to go okay so it just brought up this lane dialogue message here. I guess that means these two lanes are in the exit ramp. And it is a two lane exit. I'm not touching anything. Now take exit two A on decreasing the speed. Indicator came on automatically. We took the turn. set the speed back to 55 miles an hour automatically. Apply light force. Okay, it, it brought it back up to 60, so it must have known that that was a ramp of some kind. We have a car right in front of us here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm letting autopilot take it. I was ready to take over there. Okay, apply light force to the steering wheel. So now will be a real challenge, and I don't think it will work. So Autopilot succeeded to getting us off the main highway and get a, getting us onto another transit road, but we have a sharp right-hand turn here on North Rocky Point Drive. So let's see what happens with Navigate on Autopilot. It actually took away the Navigate on Autopilot button here, so I'm going to let it keep driving but I do believe I will have to take over and take this uh, right 90 degree turn. Okay, no prompts. I'm gonna go ahead and take over with the right indicator. Oh, uh, was it the next one? Well, I guess we won't know what'll happen there because autopilot's disengaged. But overall, uh, pretty now good. I think that's an indication that autopilot or navigate on autopilot for now is mostly meant for navigating on and off of major right to stay freeways or transit east. roads of some kind. Um, again, overall, very impressed with autopilot's overall confidence and um, behavior. The smoothness is great, um, but Having said all that, uh, OpenPilot comes pretty dang close to 
the base level of performance that I would have expected from autopilot, but this autopilot is definitely a better system for sure. You can end it there.